Good morning, everybody. A few weeks ago, one Sunday, Mark was talking about God being our refuge. He quoted Psalm 91. And since then, I've been thinking about this word refuge and what it means to us and what it means to different people. So I wonder what comes to your mind when you hear the word refuge. The image that Mark had in mind when he uh, mentioned this was this picture here. <clears throat> He talked about us choosing to move towards God uh, as our refuge. But I think that refuge can mean different things for different people. So I began by asking my family. For my husband, Bill, his image of refuge is what we in our family call the secret garden at the back of the old parish church uh, just down the road from here. For me, it's a secret bay somewhere on the coastline. This is in Sicily, where I used to live. For Kitty, our younger daughter, it's a very different image. She imagines herself in a huge golden cathedral with vaulted ceilings, lying very small in the center and surrounded by the vastness and awe of it all. She feels very safe in the midst of this great space. For Lily, our older daughter, refuge doesn't mean a place at all. It means people, and specifically the people that she loves and feels closest to. Then I asked my colleagues at church what refuge meant to them. For Chris Halls, it's also about people. He says that for them as a family, home is a safe refuge because it's a place where no explanation is needed. He also did give me an alternative refuge too. And for Claire Thurston, it's the image of God's wings overshadowing us. This picture quotes Psalm 91, and I'd like to read some verses from this psalm which talk about refuge. Whoever dwells in the shelter of the Most High will rest in the shadow of the Almighty. I will say of the Lord, he is my refuge and my fortress my God in whom I trust. He will cover you with his feathers and under his wings you will find refuge. His faithfulness will be your shield and rampart. You will not fear the terror of night, nor the arrow that flies by day, nor the pestilence that stalks in the darkness, nor the plague that destroys at midday. A thousand may fall at your side, 10,000 at your right hand, but it will not come near you. If you say the Lord is my refuge, and you make the most high your dwelling, no harm will overtake you, no disaster will come near your tent. Of course, this doesn't mean that bad things don't happen to Christians, but what it does mean is that we are safe in God, whatever happens to us. Nothing takes God by surprise, and we can always be confident of his protection. All the images we've seen or heard about this morning have certain things in common. They're places where we feel safe, secure, protected, where we don't have to prove anything to anyone, where we can be ourselves, perhaps where we can retreat from the pressures and challenges of everyday life, where we can be quiet and still and let go of all the thoughts and concerns whirling about inside us. So I'd like to encourage you today to think about what your refuge is, what it looks like or feels like. You may not physically be able to go there at this time, but we can imagine it. We can remember times we've been there and we can choose to set aside some time each day to take refuge in God's love and faithfulness and to rest in the shadow of the Almighty. Have a good day. Bye-bye.